Hi guys, I'm Susan, fitness from the pro. You know, we're always trying to build up our muscles and get stronger, and that's great because we need to do that. We need to stay strong as we age. The other thing is we also need to elongate those muscles so we can maintain our flexibility. We're going to be doing a chair yoga demonstration, not a demonstration, but a video for you today. And I'm going to keep my shoes on because I'm going to be doing a lot of seated work and then eventually we'll graduate to some standing work, but I'll show you the options if you're not going to stand up and we definitely will not be getting on the floor. So go ahead and have a seat. <clears throat> grab a sturdy chair and what I'm doing is I have a yoga block and I'm putting it back behind my chair and sitting all the way back against the chair just to ensure that I have really good posture my ears are just above my shoulders my shoulders are just above my hips my feet are flat on the floor now what I'd like to start off with is <clears throat> keeping my chin parallel and I'm going to have my gaze casting down or you can actually close your eyes. <clears throat> and I just want you to kind of center yourself and try and forget whatever happened to you earlier today or what's going to happen later on after this video. Just kind of check in with yourself and center yourself and calm yourself and focus on you and the beauty that you offer the world. Keeping those shoulders relaxed and sitting up nice and tall. And I want you to take an inventory of your mind, of your body, and see how it's feeling. Just check in. And then we're also going to bring our awareness to our breath. We're gonna inhale slowly through the nose and exhale slowly through the nose as we keep that breath nice and warm. This is your Ujjayi breathing here. Inhale slowly and you can silently count to the number four. And as you exhale, you're gonna silently count to the number four, exhaling through the nose once again. We'll do another breath here. What I like to do during our breath at this time is setting an intention for our practice. And I usually use gratitude for all the things for which we're grateful. Today, I think we'll, we'll talk about forgiveness and how we forgive other people, how we're willing and we should forgive other people. And the thing that we're not so good about is forgiving ourselves. So really, I want you to take this time to forgive yourself and love yourself and really enjoy the beauty that you have to offer. Go ahead and continue with that intention throughout your practice and continue with your breath. And you want to keep that breath as you inhale through the nose, but as you exhale, it's more toward the back of your throat, kind of a guttural kind of breath, so you can feel it in the back of your throat. Now, I want you to bring those palms together, my eyes are still closed, and bring those palms together in a prayer pose, and then rub those hands together, creating some warmth in those palms, as we continue to make sure that posture's nice and tall. Go ahead and take one palm and place it over each eye. Right palm over right eye, left palm over left eye. Open up those eyes behind those palms and then slowly bring those hands down your face into your prayer pose, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale and bring those arms up, lengthening the body. Exhale, open up those arms, circling those arms all the way around. Now remember this practice is very individualized. Inhale here. Exhale and open. And one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. And let's bring those palms together. 
and you can press those palms into each other. The fingers are closed. Go ahead and bring those fingertips pointing down, relaxing your shoulders. Inhale and bring them back to center. Exhale, point them down. Just warming up or winding up those wrists. And one more time, let's bring those fingertips pointing down into your lap. Go ahead and clasp those hands. And then as you exhale, push those arms forward. Inhale, bring those arms all the way up. Exhale, go ahead and press down. Inhale, push those fingers away. Exhale, and let's press down. One more time, inhale. And let's bring those palms together. Exhale, and slowly lower. Good, now we're gonna keep pressing those hands into each other. I want you to bring those arms over to the right, keep pressing keeping that upper body nice and still. That upper body is rotating, those arms pressed to the right. Breathing. Inhale, bring it back center. Exhale, push those arms over to the left, keeping that core active. Inhale, bring it back center. This time we're gonna push those elbows off to the right, exhaling, and now turn your head to look over that left shoulder. Keep pressing those hands into each other. Keep sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, come back center, head and arm center. Exhale, go ahead, elbows out toward the left and look to the right. Pressing those palms into each other. Inhale, come back center. One more time each side. Inhale, exhale, rotate left. Or those the head goes left, the arms go to the right. Inhale, center, elbows go to the left, head turns to the right. Inhale, bring it back center, exhale and release. Hands down by your side, roll those shoulders back and down. We're gonna kind of warm up the body from the head to the toe here. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna keep those hands down by our side. And then I want you to turn your head to look over that right shoulder. Now when you do so, be mindful that both of those shoulders stay facing me. I don't want that left shoulder to turn. It's just keeping the lubrication and the flexibility in that left neck. Bring your head back center and then look over that left shoulder. And be mindful that that right shoulder is back. Bring your head back center. Go ahead and tuck that chin into your chest, and then you're looking down into your lap. Those shoulders are pulled away from the, sh from the ears toward those hips. And then lift your head so that your chin is parallel to the floor. Now we're gonna be moving on. Go ahead, extend that right leg, and I want you to point and flex that foot. Point and flex and then circle that right foot. Just to keep that dexterity in those ankles and circle the ankle the other way. Now it's good, if that ankle is cracking, that's a good thing. That means those joints haven't stiffened up. And then bend that right knee, place that right foot on the floor. Let's extend that left leg and point and flex that foot. Again, keep that posture nice and tall and then you're gonna rotate that left ankle and rotate the left ankle the other way. Bend that left knee, place that left foot on the floor. Open up those legs about hip width apart and place those hands on your thighs. Now we're gonna move on to a seated cat and cow here. So I want you to pull that belly button into the spine. We're gonna inhale, bring those palms to your hips, roll those shoulders away from the ears and look up toward the ceiling, if that's available toward your, for your head and your neck. 
If not, just keep looking forward, but I want you to think about squeezing those shoulder blades together behind you. Exhale, tuck that chin in, round out those shoulders, slide those hands toward your knees. Breathing into that. Inhale, slide those hands toward your hips, shoulders away from the ears as you look up. Exhale, tuck that chin in, round out those shoulders, pull the belly button to the spine. And let's do one more time here. Inhale, sitting up tall, belly buttons pulled in, shoulders away from the ears as we look up. And exhale, tucking the chin in, rounding those shoulders. Try and coincide that breath and movement. And then sit up nice and tall as we inhale. And exhale here. Now we're gonna open up those hips a little bit. So I want, we're gonna call, do what's called the windshield wipers. You can push yourself forward a little bit. You're gonna bring that right knee out to the right and then pivot on the ball of the left foot and bring that left knee toward the floor. And then we're gonna rotate the other way. That left knee goes to the left, that right ball of the foot on the floor. Holding on to the chair, keeping that posture nice and tall, opening up those hips, keeping that chest lifted. Go ahead, let's go over to the left. One more time, each side pivoting on the balls of the feet. And come back to center. And to the left. And here we are coming back to center. Good. Maybe you want to heel toe those legs together. I'm sitting back against the block of my chair once again. Ears above the shoulders, shoulders above your hips. Now I'm gonna bring that right arm up, palms are open. And my left arm up, again, those palms are open. Now I'm not just here, I'm gonna bring those elbows back a little bit behind my body so I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. This is called your cactus arms. So you're really like opening up your chest but you're squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you. You're sitting up nice and tall. This is fabulous for your posture. Keep that belly button pulled into the spine. Now go ahead, take this left hand and bring it to your right shoulder and then slowly turn your head to look over that left shoulder. And release that, come back to center. Take this right hand Bring it to your left shoulder, and then slowly look over that right shoulder. And release that, come back center. One more time each side. Bring this left hand to your right shoulder. As you exhale, look over that left shoulder. Inhale and release. Right hand to the left shoulder. Exhale, rotate that head to look over that right shoulder. And then come back to center as you exhale and lower those hands down by your side. Now push your hips forward just a little bit. We're gonna do some blast offs, which is great for the, the leg strength that we need to have so we can lift our legs to get in and out of the car, so we can climb some steps. Option here, I want you to cross those hands. This is, will be your most challenging option and this is really the most beneficial for you. If you need to hold on to the chair to push yourself up, go ahead and by all means do so. Have those legs hip width apart. Again, the posture's nice and tall. We're gonna crisscross those arms. Inhale here and prepare, pulling that belly button in. Push into those heels as we stand up. This will also warm you up too. Go ahead, push those hips back, sitting back down into that chair. Let's do 10 of them. So stand up, pushing up nice and tall, relaxing those shoulders, push those hips back, having that seat. Inhale, push up into those heels as you exhale. Keep those shoulders relaxed and bring it back down. Pull that belly button in, inhale here and lift. Exhale, go ahead and push back. 
in hell. I think I lost count. I think this might be five or six. Go ahead and sit back. So we have, let's do five more because more is always better for our strength, right? Exhale, sitting back. Keep that belly button pulled to the spine as you sit up nice and tall. Make sure you're pushing through those heels. Keep that chest lifted. Try not to lean forward, okay? Shoulders are back and down away from your ears. We've got three more guys. Stay strong, stay with me. Push into those heels and lift and back and down. Here's two, building up some heat in those legs and down. And here's your last one, pushing into those heels, sitting up tall. And once again, go ahead, have a seat and bring those arms down. Just shake out those hands, wiggle those fingers. Let's go ahead and stop those feet. Good, now we're gonna move on to what's called a low lunge. I'm gonna show you seated first. I'm gonna take my right leg and turn it out toward the right. And my left knee is gonna be pointing down, okay? My right hand here can hold on to this chair. Now this is your low lunge, the seated version. I want you to sit up nice and tall, pulling that belly button in. Inhale here and raise and lengthen this left arm. Breathing into that, keep that left knee pointing down. Now, if it's too painful for you, you can always bring that left knee forward a little bit. But I really want you to think about lengthening this whole left side as we sit on that chair nice and tall. Option here, maybe you wanna raise that right arm. Now, both of my hip bones are facing to the right. Breathing into that. Maybe give me those cactus arms as we pull those elbows back behind us. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, cactus elbows, cactus arms. Inhale and lengthen. Give me one more here. Exhale. Inhale and lengthen. Lower those arms. That right hand grabs back onto that chair and bring this left foot forward. Okay, so now we're gonna come back to center. This is your seated low lunge. Now for your left side, that left knee is going to be facing toward the left. And that right knee points straight down. The left hand will be holding onto your chair. And then we'll be raising that right arm. But this time I'm gonna show you the low lunge standing. If you're up for that, go ahead. If not, just stay right here in the chair. So now, I'm going to have my left leg forward and my right foot, I want it to be in alignment, that right arch is gonna be in alignment with my left heel, okay? Now my hips are gonna be facing the left, just like your hips were facing the left when we were seated. Pull that belly button in. Now you can always get hold onto that chair if you need to. Pull the belly button in, again, ears above the shoulders, shoulders above your hips, your hips are facing forward. The weight is in that left heel, and we're opening up that left leg out toward the side, keeping that right leg straight. Let's raise this left arm up as we lengthen that left side. We're bending into that left knee. Option, you can hold on to the chair with that right arm, or lifting that right arm keeping those hips facing forward. Another more challenging option, if it's available to your head and your neck, you can go ahead and look up. Opening up, breathing into that. And then go ahead, maybe grab onto the chair, exhale, lower those arms, straighten that leg, and then come back to center as we turn our toes forward. I'm gonna have another seat. We're gonna be moving on from here. Now we're gonna do a, a seated warrior two. A seated warrior two. So, once again, we're gonna to start toward the right. My right knee is gonna be facing the right. The right. My left knee, once again, is gonna be down. My right hand is holding on to the chair. I'm sitting up nice and tall. My shoulders are just above my hips. 
Now, the thing that's different about the Warrior 2 compared to the Warrior 1, the Warrior 1, we had both of our hips facing forward. Here, we're going to turn our hips to face you. I'm facing, my hips are facing you. Your hips should be facing me. Now, you can always hold on to the chair here. We're going to extend that right arm out long. If it's available, you can extend that left arm out long. Now relax those shoulders and look over those right front fingertips. Breathing into that. Now you're pushing this right side out. You should feel an opening in that right hip, relaxing those shoulders. Keep that chin parallel to the floor. Breathing into that. So we're going to inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more time here, inhale, exhale, relaxing those shoulders, check out these left fingertips behind you, making sure everything is nice and parallel, come back center, go ahead and lower those arms and bring that left foot forward and come and face me. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left, a warrior two with that left lead. So that left leg faces the left and that right knee is pointing down. I'm going to do this warrior standing so you can see the difference and pick whichever option works for you, okay? Maybe start out in the chair. As you get stronger, you can go into a standing position. I'm going to stand up, come behind my chair. Actually, I guess I could stay right here, right? Okay, so this left toe is going to be facing forward. My right toe is on a little bit of a diagonal here, 45 degrees. And the thing to be mindful of is you want to keep this heel in alignment with that arch of that right foot. Now, this time, remember like we did with our seated option, my hips are facing you. I'm going to extend my left arm, right arm behind me. Go ahead, take a look at those right fingertips, and then look over those left fingertips. Inhale here, exhale, go ahead and bend into that left knee, but all the weight is in that left heel. My knee is just above my ankle. My hips are turned to face you. I'm opening up that left side of my leg, and if you're barefoot, the weight should be in toward that pinky toe and the big toe mound of your foot. Relaxing those shoulders. We're not up here, guys. Relax those shoulders. Look over those left fingertips. Now inhale, I want you to straighten that leg. Bring those arms up. Exhale, bend into that left heel. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Lower those arms. Turn that left toe forward. And then go ahead, heel toe, your legs together. All right, moving on. I'm going to have another seat. This time we're going to be doing a reverse warrior. So what generally with the vinyasa flow, you would do um, a warrior two and then go into your reverse warrior and then go back into a warrior two. We're just keeping it simple, keeping it simple here today. So once again, right leg forward, your left knee down. <clears throat> so if you need to hold on to that chair with that left hand, go ahead and hold on to the chair. Inhale, raise this right arm up. As you exhale, slightly lean back, and you can look up as an option, breathing into that. Inhale here, and sitting up nice and tall. Okay, that knees point down. Inhale, maybe hold on to the back of that chair. Exhaling, only look up if that's available to you. Uh, you can tuck that chin in. Look underneath that right armpit. Follow that gaze all the way up. Looking up. Don't look up if it doesn't work. Just keep looking forward. 
Inhale here. And let's come back into our warrior two. Notice we're turning those hips, bringing that right arm out in front, relaxing those shoulders. And then lower those hands, walk that left foot forward. You might feel some love in this left thigh. And standing up, we're gonna do the same thing, that reverse warrior <clears throat> uh, on the left leg. So the left leg gonna face forward. That right toe is turned out to the side. I'm turning my hips forward. And then I'm inhaling, exhaling, bending into my warrior two here. Okay, that left knee is just above my ankle and it's opening up out. My hips are facing you, facing forward. Inhale, turn this left palm up. Exhale, go ahead, bring this right hand to that back leg and lean back so you get a fabulous stretch all the way down this side. Option here, tuck that chin into your chest. Look underneath that armpit, follow that gaze all the way up. If you want to look up, if it's available to your head and neck, otherwise just keep looking forward. Lengthening, inhale, push off this right leg, exhale, come back into your warrior two, and lower those arms, heel toe those legs together, standing up nice and tall. Okay, now I'm going to be standing, I'm going to be doing a, um, a downward facing dog, with the chair, if you are seated, your down dog, those legs are hip width apart, raising those arms up, and you're just gonna reach it forward, okay? Keeping that head, neck, and uh, spine in alignment, okay? So it looks like this. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach forward. The belly button's in, everything is nice and tight. Those biceps are close to your ears. So this is your seated version of a down dog. Moving on to the standing version of the down dog. <clears throat> Those arms are fully extended. Those legs are away from you. <clears throat> hip width apart. So we're going to inhale. Let's stand up nice and tall, pulling that belly button into the spine. As you exhale, go ahead and push those hips back as we lengthen the arms. Option here, you can bend those knees. Some of us have very tight hamstrings, but that's exactly why we're doing this, to lengthen and elongate those hamstrings. Push those hips back. Push the tailbone back. Keep the biceps close to the ears, breathing into that stretch. That belly button is engaged. Inhale here and lift. Exhale, push those hips back. Nice flat back here. Shoulders are pulled away from the ears. Those shoulder blades are pulling down. Inhale and lift. And one more time. Exhale, push those hips back. Pulling that belly button to the spine. Now you want to hold these poses. I'm just actually moving through them rather quickly. But you want to hold them for about three to five breaths. Inhale here and lift. Exhale, go ahead and walk your feet forward. Now we're going to move on to what's called the pyramid pose. I'm going to start standing since I'm right here. Let me move this out of the way. And I'll show you, I'll show you your option, um, the seated. But we're going to start with that right leg. And that left leg is behind you. You're going to pull that belly button into the spine. Hold on to the chair. Inhale here. As you exhale, go ahead and sit back into that right heel as you keep that left toe or the sit back into the left heel as you elongate this right leg breathing into that and you'll feel a yummy stretch all the way up into those hamstrings keep your head above your heart breathing into that stretch go ahead inhale and lift exhaling at the top now i'll show you the seated version of this 
with the left leg. We're gonna extend that left leg out in front. That left toe will be lifted. Pull that belly button into the spine. We're gonna inhale and lengthen that body. Exhale, hinge from your hip. As you reach for that toe, keep pulling that left toe toward you. Those shoulders are away from your ears. Your back is nice and flat as we reach forward. Engaging those abdominals. Again, like I said, you wanna hold it here. Three to five breaths. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, keeping that breath nice and warm. Give me one more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. On the next inhalation, use those abdominals and lift. Exhale. And slowly lower. Nice job. Okay, I'm gonna come back and face you once again. So you can do these, um, these poses back to back, the warrior one, the warrior two, the reverse warrior, perhaps go into your pyramid pose, um, all back to back as a nice vinyasa flow, if you wish. Otherwise, you can do them individually just till you get a little stronger and more flexible. So now I'm just gonna um, continue with some leg exercises here. <clears throat> And we're going to put those palms, or the backs of our hands, on our inner thighs. Let me sit back here. So you're going to have to sit a little bit forward in, uh, in your chair. So the backs of my hands are against my, my inner thighs here. And again, watch that posture. Shoulders above the ears, ears above your hips. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale here, engage your abdominals. As you exhale, I want you to press those hands into your thighs, but I want your thighs to press into the hands. So it's like a push and pull kind of situation. So we tighten up all those muscles in our legs. Inhale here and prepare. Exhale, go ahead. Relax those shoulders. We don't want to be up here. Keep pressing those hands against those inner thighs. Those thighs are pressing against those hands, breathing into that stretch, that pose, that push and pull, and then go ahead and release. Now you can do that a couple of times, a couple of three times here. Let's do that one more time together, right? Inhale here, exhale, push into those palms. Those thighs push into your palms, into the backs of those hands. Relax those shoulders, and you'll feel those adductors muscles engaging. And then go ahead and release. Whew, that's tough. Let's rotate those wrists and rotate them the other way. Maybe you wanna shake them out a little bit. Let's tap those feet, shake those hands, those arms. All right, now we're gonna do, we just did the adductors, your inner thighs. We're gonna do those abductors, the outer thighs. So now the palms of the hands are gonna be on the exterior of those legs. I want you to sit up nice and tall. Now as we press those hands into the legs, those legs are gonna be pressing against those hands. So it's a push-pull kind of situation. Sitting up tall on those outer thighs. Inhale here and prepare. As you exhale, Press those hands into your thighs. Keep pushing those thighs into those hands. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Keep breathing into that. And go ahead and release. Wow. Boy, that was a powerful, powerful move. So before we finish, we're going to do a little more stretching. So go ahead and take that right leg and you can either cross it above that left ankle or above that left knee. Sitting up nice and tall. And this is uh, your seated pigeon pose, if you will. Inhale, bring those arms up as we lengthen the sides. Exhale, reach those fingertips forward. Now keep that back nice and flat. Pull those shoulders away from your ears. And then you'll feel that yummy stretch in the right outer part of your hip. And that's exactly where we want to feel it. And this is a great 
stretch if you have sciatic issues. You could always lay down on your bed and pull those legs towards your chest. Inhale and lift. Exhale and lower. And we're not done here. Take this left hand and bring it on the outer right thigh. The right hand is gonna grab onto the back of that chair. Now I want you to sit up nice and tall. As you inhale, we're lifting from the rib cage. Press that left hand into that right thigh, sitting tall. Rotate on the exhalation to the right, looking over that right shoulder. Keep both of those hip bones facing forward. Relax your shoulders here. Inhale, exhale, come back center, release that left hand, uncross that right leg, and we're going to do it on the other side. Go ahead, take this left foot, either cross it above that right ankle, or cross it above that right knee, sitting up nice and tall. Ears above your shoulders, shoulders above your hips. Now I'm gonna just turn to the side so you can see how nice that posture is. We're gonna inhale and lengthen that body. Exhale, reach those fingertips forward. As you push this left hip back, keep breathing into that stretch. We're gonna hold it. Remember, hold your poses for three to five breaths. Full inhalation, full exhalation. Pull those shoulders away from your ears and keep reaching through the crown of the head. Inhale, use those abs and lift. Exhale and lower. Now keep that leg crossed. I want you to take that right hand and place it on the outer left thigh. Now, this left hand is gonna grab onto the back of that chair. I don't want you to be collapsing here. I want you to sit up nice and tall so that the uh, rib cage is lifted. So we're gonna inhale here. As you exhale, press that right hand into that left thigh as we slowly exhale toward the left, keeping that um, upper body lifted, keeping those hips facing forward. We're looking over that left shoulder, if it's available to you, with that breath. Breathing into that stretch. Again, you want to hold your poses for three to five breaths. Inhale here. Engaging those abdominals. Exhale and unwind out of that stretch. Go ahead and place that left foot on the floor. I want to thank you for... Uh, practicing with me today. Feel free to keep using this uh, video to help get you a little more flexible, lengthening those muscles that we really need to do. And flexibility is very important as we age because it'll also help with our balance. Once again, I would like if you could subscribe to LWCA Fitness on our YouTube channel. It's that little circle on the corner. Just click on it. And when you're, once you're subscribed, you'll get notified every time a new video uploads. And please feel free to like the video, share the video, also comment on the video and let me know if there's anything else you would like to see on the channel. Thanks again for joining me and have a great day.